Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to be learning how to make a phase logo of your uh, custom design. This is just one I made earlier, so we're going to be learning how to make something like this. I'm going to be using the same images as I've used in this, same text, same everything. So as we're going through, I'll let you know. Uh, I will let you know. Sorry, what you need. So yep, yeah, this should be what it's going to turn out to look like. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, first of all. We're going to make a brand new document here, 800 by 800, and I've got this phase logo here. Now, you could choose anyone's uh, phase logo that you want, really. I've just chose Reigns, and just copy and paste that into the 800 by 800. You could just use whatever one you want, to be honest, but I've just decided to use this for now. So, once you've got this in here, you are pretty much ready to go. So, right here, I've got my person that I want to be inside now i'm gonna do this before i do the background just uh so i can show you uh how to get whatever figure or character you want to be inside the logo so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to grab sorry the quick selection tool and i'm just gonna highlight the character now i'm using a stormtrooper do not ask me why i just thought it might make a cool looking uh logo um you can pretty much use whatever logo you want for this I'm just using the phase logo because I haven't really seen a phase logo tutorial uh, that's shown you really what to do into this much depth and with this type of logo because this is the logo that most of the phase clan members use right now. But anyway, um, so once you've done highlighting your character, make sure you've got every single bit that you need. Uh, just copy that into the 800 by 800 document you've got here and you can already see it's looking good on the uh, face logo already. Um, there's no like white bits on the character that I haven't uh, gotten rid of. So, you just want to turn the opacity down. Now, I seem to do this a bit different from everybody else. Uh, so, don't blame me if I get you a bit lost. I just like doing it this way. It's a lot easier for me. So, you want to just turn the opacity down to around 60%, 50%, whatever you want, as long as you can see the phase logo behind or whatever logo you're working with. And pretty much, you just want to line it up wherever you want it. Now, I want mine quite central, and I want the whole body in it. So, that is looking good. Now, you can see where it's going to be cut from the, like, the borders where the blue bit ends is where I'm going to be cutting out. Now, I'm going to show you how to have bits of it hanging out now. So, this is going to be really awesome. So... If you've got a character with a gun or something, it'll look really cool because it'll be popping out a logo and whatnot, like this bit here. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the opacity down to about 50% exactly. Ooh. All right, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So uh, you see this white bit here. I'm just going to trim the image along that white bit and just cut off the foot here because that would look pretty ugly if I left it. And I'm just going to go back up to where I started it. And I'm just going to press delete. And as you can see, it makes a nice uh, little cutout there. So, yep, just trim that out. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for it now. I might cut out this bit. Yeah, that'll look cool. So, um, we'll see if this works or not. It's all about trial and error, most of these. Some characters work, some characters don't. So, if you turn the opacity up to full again... You can see that is looking really nice. I'm really liking that so far. It looks pretty pretty comfortable in there. I don't know if comfortable is the word to describe it, but anyway. So, now you've got your character in there. You're going to need a background because you can't use someone else's background. That is copyright. I've got a background here of my choice. I don't know what it is. It's by Superb Wallpapers, whatever that is. <laughs> um, anyway, and you just want to crop it. Uh, not crop it, sorry. Just uh, transform it down to whatever size you want. Again, you can turn the opacity down to see where your pattern's going to be. And I'm liking that. So, all I have to do is trim this. Now, this can get a bit tricky. Uh, you just want to go along the white bits. It doesn't matter about the character. You can just go wherever if he's over. Uh, just keep going. This is probably the longest bit of the entire tutorial, guys. Uh, I'll probably just fast forward it and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so once you're at the end of your polygonal lasso thingamajig, uh, wherever it is, where'd I put it here? You just want to press uh, Command-C, Command-V, and it will create this nice-looking thing. 
Uh, and if I drag it behind the Stormtrooper, you can see, whoops, you can see it's looking pretty fresh at the moment. Now, because of that, you can see from this uh, rain logo here, it's got sort of a bevel here, like along the sides. I'm not sure if you can guys, if you guys can uh, pick that up, but you can see it gets darker along here. That is, and if I zoom out, it like it sort of bevels, right? So all we're gonna do is just literally click bevel and emboss. Make sure it's on depth 100 and size 5. That's all you're gonna need. And as you can see, it automatically adds a humongous difference. Um, it just makes it a lot more defined, a lot more clean. Uh, and if you want to enhance your background even further, I recommend. Just copying that layer, Command J, if you don't know that already. Um, and I think I did lighten? No, I didn't do lighten. It was color burn of some sort. Yeah, a color burn. A linear burn, sorry, my bad. So I did another layer. I just duplicated um, the first background layer and I did a linear burn. And it makes the background stand out just that little bit more. So this is looking all good, but if you want to add just a little bit of a sort of, I guess extra feature i've gone for a red lens flare here now i'm all about lens flares to be honest i'm sort of that stereotypical person that uses lens flares but anyway i just love lens flares guys they make everything look better in my opinion well actually depending on what you're using it for but anyway so you just want to screen that and this all depends on personal preference now you can just chuck the lens flare wherever you want to be honest it doesn't really matter but um you just go around pretty much doing lens flares just where you think that it would suit the image. And probably just one there. That's looking good. Uh, use the eraser tool just wherever you need to. If it's crossing over a bit of the gun or the stormtrooper here, as you can see. That's the wrong layer. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> okay, sweet. So, now you've got that. It's looking alright. It's not too bad. But, what me and a mate found out, out, uh, found out about sorry, is that if you just go for a little bit of a sort of brush tool here and a red and maybe a blue that's what i went for and you just pretty much half of it red that's what we did half of it blue you can choose whatever colors you want and why isn't that working there we go just get a nice little variety going on there so half red half blue it's looking pretty good i'll just add more blue there right so you've got this nice little pattern here of whatever colors you want all i did then was go blur box blur and it sort of just blends it a little bit more. You can... Oh, that's too much. So you want it to stand out a lot. So you've got a nice little fading kind of gradient going on. And then all we did from there was click overlay. And as you can see, it makes it stand out so much more. You just use the eraser tool to go over whichever bits you don't think suit it. But it looks amazing in my opinion. So just use this for whatever you want. It's looking good, especially on the lens flares here. You can see it really works. And on the outside of the logo here, just these like glowing bits. I don't know how that's even working, but it just works so well. So that's one of the best things about this entire logo. Now, that is pretty much the whole logo done. If you want to stay around, I will get onto the text. So let's get into the text. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly, sorry, erase Rain's text there. Bye-bye, Rain. Um... And what happened there? No, no. Okay, good. So, you just want to make a new layer and grab your type tool. I'm just going to use black for this. Sorry, guys. I have a cold at the moment if you see me or hear me sniffing. Sorry. All right. So, once you've got your type tool out, you just want to do whatever your name is. And I will link the font in the description. The download link will be in the description. So, I'm just going to squash that up, make it a little bit more chunky there. That's probably good. Now, all I'm going to do is add a gradient overlay that's just going to add a nice little thingamajig and a stroke on the outside so just a one px stroke is all that's necessary and that's pretty much the text you can add outer glows if you want if your background's different but yeah that's just the text and that's pretty much the entire tutorial guys so if you liked, leave a like, and if you want to see more uh, design tutorials and whatever, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.